So the short version for me is I started training when I was a little kid because my <clears throat> grandfather actually thought it would be helpful for me. And uh, it turned out more helpful than I thought because my dad was in the military, we moved a lot. So every new place I went, then you have a new group of kids in school that you have to deal with. And because I skipped grades and I was always like the smallest kid, I'm not a small kid now, but I was then. So then you end up with a lot of fights. The other thing too is that I'm mixed. So my dad's real dark, my mom's blonde, like station. So when I would go to school, then people would, wouldn't know what I was. So then in certain places, that means everyone wants to beat you up. And this is I, I never gave up on the training because it, I had a practical need for it. Not just for myself, but to help other people. And the irony is you actually fight harder when you're helping other people. Does that make sense? Like, if you're protecting your little brother or sister, or your mom or somebody from getting hurt, you're more motivated than if it was just you, right? If someone wants to hit me, I'm like, I can take a punch, my nose is already broken seven times, whatever. But if someone wanted to hurt one of you guys, then I'd feel like it was my job to stop them. So, as far as like achievements and stuff, yeah, I got black belts in 31 things, I was a national world champion, and blah, blah, blah. But, all that stuff only exists for a moment. It's who you are like all the time that matters. So that you did something great on one particular day doesn't make you great. What makes you great is who you are inside. So if you think about it, I know that this center was uh, started by a minister. Um, we were created to be able to defend ourselves to a certain level. Have you guys ever seen like a, an animal on TV or in real life that is fighting? It could be a dog or a cat or something. Okay, when a cat doesn't want to get picked up, what does it look like? When, you, when, when a dog doesn't want you to mess with it, right? What's dangerous about the dog? The tail? It's the bite, right? And it's not just the bite right then, it's what if the dog has rabies and all sort of stuff, okay? So, all of us as creatures, right? We were created with certain abilities to defend ourselves. So those are God-given abilities to defend yourself. So if you do absolutely nothing, there are some things that you're going to do anyway, right? And then that's it, right? Or you might try to push away the danger, okay? or you might try to cover yourself from getting hit. Okay? So that's what you're going to do naturally without any training at all. What you have to do is learn how to take that and turn it into something that can work for you. So if someone's trying to hurt you, you have a plan. Now the biggest plan is to not be where you start. Does that make sense? Probably not. Probably not. Okay? So, if on the other hand, when he sees this, if he just ducks, then he has a chance of not getting hit, right? He has a chance of not getting hit. Agreed? Yes. Okay? Even better if he's physically not there at all. So in other words, you're going to go from here, so if I'm you, all you got to do is step that way, like that. Okay? So you're going to step here. Okay? So if I'm going to knock his head off, and he steps there, right past his size 11, there, okay? <laughs> Whoa! I got no target. Like, where'd he go? Okay? Now he's looking at me with his gun going over here. Okay? So in other words, the best defense is not to get hit at all. Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> okay. 
So now, instead of yah, 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 then you do this step, go ahead. Oh, shoot. And if he does it like that, maybe he even trips me, right? Who is basketball shoes? Okay? So you're yeah, getting, getting the idea here. The idea is to train smarter, not harder. Does that make sense? Okay? Real life fights don't start in a vacuum. It's not like on TV or in a, in a tournament where you're going, okay, right? That's not how real fights start. Real fights are more like, what? You're kidding me, bro. What's your problem? How come you'll be here? This is my place. This is my spot. <laughs> That type of thing. What? 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 Well, how come you here? How come you took my earrings? You know? Okay? So this type of thing, right? Okay? And they'll ask you questions on purpose, and they'll shove you on purpose. The questions are to confuse your brain, and the shoving movement is to make you off balance. Because when he's moving backward, he can't hit very hard. He can't defend himself very hard. Okay? So again, you're safer, closer. What do I mean by that? Okay, so if you're the bad guy, right, and you're coming in to shove me, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, excuse, oh, excuse me, I, I really didn't mean to be in the way. Oh, hey, what, what was that now? Aggressive, and I keep moving back, then it looks like I'm what? A loser, right? It looks like I'm going to get intimidated. But if instead I go, you know, oh, oh, sorry, my bad, you know, it's all good, you guys can play here. Oh, that, I don't understand what you mean. Oh, nice socks, by the way. <laughs> you know, why, why do I say things like that? Because it changes his mindset, because I want to stay in control. Okay, ABC, right? So I'm going to give you a meaning for ABC. Okay, I'm going to give you a me meaning for ABC. So ABC, everyone knows your ABCs. Okay, A is for awareness, B is for balance, C is for control. Okay, awareness. As soon as he comes within my range of reach, my awareness should go way up like a stoplight. Okay, green light means go, I'm over here, no one can touch me, I'm completely safe. As soon as he comes in my space, now I'm in yellow. Hey, what's up? But see how I move? I didn't just stay here. Because when I stay here, I'm a target. So I move a little bit, just move a little bit, and now I force his hand because now what? I've established balance and control. By moving, I establish my base, that's balance, and now I make him have to move to me, and that's control. Awareness, balance, control. Awareness is survival. Zombies, and zombies want brains. So if I'm a zombie, I'm going to be going like this. Surrounded by zombies. Okay, so you guys all zombie your hands. Okay? And now they start coming toward me. Go ahead. Okay? I'm gonna go 45 degrees here. I see another one. Oh, 45 degrees here. There's another guy 45, 45. <laughs> Happy buddies all over the place. Okay. Okay. You know? Okay, 
Okay, so instead we want to have a plan. Okay? So the idea is to have a plan. I'm going to make it harder now. Okay? I'm going to make it a lot harder. And you're going to see what I mean. It's going to be a lot harder. Okay? Because... Okay? There's only going to be... So, so listen, listen. So listen now. If you're a zombie, you gotta be a zombie. So, th so that doesn't mean that like 20 people go. Wow! Oh, attack! <clears throat> okay, so you guys are zombies, right? Ready? Ready? I say start. Remember, we're not gonna go fast. We gotta give them a chance here. Okay. Ready? Slow zombie. Go. Last man on earth. <laughs> <laughs> 